is going on guys it is your boy Pete today talking about cytotoxic T cells such an important topic when we're talking about treating disease I'm pretty pissed off Wallace sold off our A3 Academy car and so in return I trapped him in a cage yep guys that is right I trapped him in a cage so let's get going so you're probably asking yourself what are cytotoxic T cells well we have our white blood cells in our body and a certain type of white blood cell called lymphocyte is a main role player in the immune responses. And a certain type of lymphocyte is called a T cell. And T cells are subdivided in different categories. And today we're going to be discussing cytotoxic T cells. So we have a virus. We're going to call it the Pete Mike Wallace virus, abbreviated PMW, because you guys are infected with the joy of watching A3 Academy. And so we're going to infect Mike Wazowski. And so to do this, we're going to look at his cells. So looking at his cells, we insert our virus into them. And what we get is something called a class 1 MHC molecule. And so MHC is short for major histocompatibility complex. And basically what that means is it's a mechanism that differentiates between self and non-self in an organism. So these molecules take a fragment of the PMW virus and bring it to the surface of the cells. That way the cytotoxic T cell can recognize it. For reference, the bottom cell is called the antigen presenting cell and the top cell is called the cytotoxic T cell. And now we call it the antigen presenting cell simply because it has the antigen or PMW in this case. So we have our T cell receptors. These are usually made of alpha and beta chains and they're what bind to the class 1 MHC molecules and allow the cytotoxic T cell to recognize the antigen. In order for this to happen, we need something else. And this is where our CD8 or glycoprotein comes along. CD8 accompanies TCR and helps to bind to the class 1 MHC molecules. And now when this occurs, we activate our cytotoxic T cell. And in doing so, we trigger two steps or two actions. The first one being clonal expansion. So the number of cytotoxic T cells for this antigen is increased that way we're treating the PMW virus across the entire organism. Second, we induce apoptosis. So by in order to do this, the cytotoxic T cell produces what are known as cytotoxins. And these cytotoxins enter the antigen presenting cells and they induce apoptosis. Apoptosis is cell program death. So when cell program death occurs, well, everything just explodes. So, yep, that is it, guys. That was the end for cytotoxic T cells. I hope you enjoyed this short presentation. And again, guys, the more you know, the better you are.